Emergency crews from Bradley County continue to help those caught in the floodwaters in South Carolina. Betsy Golden joins us now with what the crews from Tennessee are doing today. Betsy. Well, overall, Tennessee has provided 83 people and more than 20 boats and watercrafts. Tonight, we talked to the Bradley County Fire Rescue Chief about the crew that he's sent. Bradley County Fire Rescue Chief Troy Maney scrolls through photos on his phone. They were sent to him by a member of his rescue crew in Columbia, South Carolina. This is where they rescued a, I believe it was a 17-year-old male that was clinging to a tree. The team helped rescue more than 55 people. This was a family that they re rescued the very next morning. Uh, there were some elderly people in the home and there was an amputee in the home. Four people trained in swift water rescue were sent to South Carolina on Sunday. When I talked to them, they felt like everyone was out of immediate danger, but there was people that needed to go to the doctor or go in for dialysis that couldn't get there by car, so they were taking boats in and getting those people out. The rescue team took one rescue boat, a raft, and two jet skis. They will be staying in South Carolina until the end of the week. Backup Bradley County crews are on standby, ready to go if needed. And besides those first responders, 10 American Red Cross workers from Tennessee headed to South Carolina to help with the catastrophic flooding. If you want to help, you can donate to the Red Cross Disaster Relief Fund. More information is on our website, newschannel9.com.